Portsmouth continue to bottle it over in League One, of course, as Peterborough close in on top spot. What's going to go on this weekend? We're going to take a little look. Bumps game in a prediction video today. We're taking a look at match number 28. Uh, that's right, over in League One. And we'll get to that in a second. Of course, if you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button, bang to all things League One related, Baba Rovers related, world football related. Look at all here, boys. Under one Ruski. That's right, of course. Portsmouth dropping points, dropping like a stone at the moment over in League One. They are still top heading into this weekend. But Peterborough, Bolton, and of course, maybe even Derby looking at that top spot, of course, trying to get themselves back in contention for the championship. We'll get into it in a second. Of course, big shout to my VIPs, they are the patrons, you know who you are and again if you're new, subscribe, your one stop shop here for League One continues of course so are we looking forward to the next games of course, but before all that uh, this is, of course, a look at the uh, the games that uh, went on uh, last weekend. Of course, I am, of course, still on uh, a little bit all over the place right now. We're not supposed to be doing this video here. Um, and, of course, Prediction League is still going, still live. Just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, and eventually we'll get to uh, a, a point, probably by back into this this month here, we'll, we should be back to normal. Um, but uh, let's keep on keeping on. But let's uh, recap the results here. Now, there are a couple of games for whatever reason, that uh, haven't gone ahead. Uh, and, of course, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that now, of course. So, Blackpool with a big 2-2 win over Exeter. Got the one spot on the nose. Bolton against Cheltenham was postponed. I think there was a, a, an illness or a something. Or a, a, a member of the crowd went down. So, they, uh, it was a ban or didn't didn't take place. Uh, Cambridge with a big 2-1 win over Fleetwood. I went with a 1-0 win myself. Uh, Oxford 3-1 winners over Carlisle. Uh, I went with a 1-0 win the other, other way. Uh, Peterborough, 2-1 winners over Charlton, 3-1 win in my eyes. Meanwhile, Barnsley, 2-1 win over Bristol Rovers, 2-0 win for me. Reading Port Vale was abandoned, of course, protests by their fans. Northampton Town, 1 Wigan, 1-on with a 2-0 win myself. Pompey lost 3-0 to Leighton Orient. That's the big shocker right there. At, at Fratton Park, might I add. 3-0 win for Leighton Orient, of course, on that one. Stevenage, 1-0 winners. Over Shrewsbury, 2-1 win in my eyes. Wickham Wanderers won and Lincoln won. And Derby and Burton, that's taking place on Monday. But I'm not waiting. I can't wait. I cannot wait because I've got uh, lots of travel to do and I've got to get this video out there. So we, we are coming at you with that game still to be had. And of course, if Derby were to win that game, they do actually have more than one game in hand. So we will see the situation as it stands uh, in the table right here, right now. It looks something like this. Of course, don't forget there's some point deductions and all that kind of jazz. But Derby... Win that game against Burton, they could actually be uh, in second spot, depending on goal difference and all that kind of jazz. And they do have uh, an extra game in hand on the likes of Portsmouth as well. So very, very interesting. And of course, don't rule out Bolton. Oxford, Barnsley. Uh, it is turning out to be another cracking race for promotion from League One to the Championship. Going down, though, it looks like Fleetwood Town uh, could be going down. Carlisle, Cheltenham and Reading uh, who have got their own shits to deal with at the moment. So we'll see all that, how all that pans out of the next uh, day or so. So that's the situation there. Let's take a look at, of course, the games that are coming at you this coming weekend. Now, of course, games are... There is a game Monday. We talk about that briefly. Derby, Burton, blah, 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 blah. Barnsley are also taking on Carlisle. That's on Tuesday. So is that uh, in this uh, agenda here? I think it's a Brucey bonus game. It's a, a makeup game. So also, when that comes around, bear that in mind for, for stats and form and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, what for the most purpose, we are taking a look at the games that are taking place on Saturday, the 20th of January. Kick it all off with Bristol Rovers against Blackpool. So let's get into this one then, shall we? Now, these two sides that play each other just nine times in 2017. We've got five wins for Bristol Rovers, three for Blackpool. There's been one draw, of course. The hosts, of course, 4-0 win the biggest. It's gone 15 goals in uh, in uh, those nine games. 1.67 goals a game on average. Blackpool under Critchley, 3-1 win the biggest. Nine goals scored in nine games, one goal a game on average. Blackpool, though, without a loss in the last four. 58% form for them right now. They are eighth with 42 points on the board. Up against the Bristol Rovers side without a win in the last three. 42% form for them heading into this match. Last time around, though, over at Bristol was a two 2-1 win for Bristol Rovers back in January 2021. That was in League One. The away side hasn't won this game since Bristol Rovers beat Blackpool in Blackpool back in November 2018. The Ozzo, 70-10 to 10 is your Bristol Rovers 12-5 is a draw. 6-4 is, of course, your away win here. Uh, Going to go with a 1-1 one, one draw here. Point apiece. Blackpool will be happy getting a point on the road. Bristol Rovers need to start turning them draws into wins, though. Burton Abbey against Charlton, of course, coming at you at the Pirelli, like I said. Burton in action on Monday, so this video may or may not be up uh, uh, online before, before that match. But anyway, Burton coming at 
Catcher. Uh, played each other, uh, played Charlton nine times in 2018. Uh, there have been two wins uh, for Burton, five for Charlton, and there's been uh, two draws, of course. Burton, though, for a 4-2 win, the biggest. Scoring 14 goals in nine matches, 1.56 goals a game on average. Charlton, though, 2 0 in the biggest. Still 17 goals in nine games, 1.89 goals a game on average. Charlton, though, without a win in the last 10 games. Good description. Charlton could be looking to switch managers, depending on where they are with their priorities. Do they consider this season a written off already, or do they think uh, that they could still save it? Uh, and if so, that could be uh, an indication that Charlton may have to look at swapping the managers another time. 30 in the table, 30 points on the board, up against the Burton side, 50% form for them right now, 19 for the day board, 28 points on the board as well. Last time around, though, over at the Pirelli, it was a 3-3 draw back in November 2022. The odds here, though, 50-8 to is your Burton, 12-5 is the draw, 11-8 is, of course, your long shots here. We are going with a uh, victory for Charlton here, breaking the deadlock, getting back to winning ways, and maybe saving Appleton's job. We'll see if I'm right or wrong. Cheltenham Town up against Carlisle, but a relegation crunch clash this one. Play the 24 times, 2003. Eight wins for Cheltenham, 10 for Carlisle, six draws, of course. Big spin for Cheltenham, 2 0 win. They got 18 goals scored in those 24 matches, 0.75 goals a game on average. Carlisle under Paul Simpson, 3 0 win, the biggest scoring 23 goals in 24 matches, 0.96 goals a game on average. Uh, Carlisle, they're just, they're just one win in the last six, 25% form for them, 23rd in the table with just 20 points on the board. Up against, up against the Cheltenham side, 22 points, uh, 23 points on the board, 22nd in the table, 58% form for them, just one defeat in the last five. They have, of course, been on a good bit of form at the moment, considering where their season started. Last time around, though, in Cheltenham, it was a 1 1 draw back in April 2021. The odds, though, for this one, Cheltenham are 6 5 for their victory, 12 5 is, of course, Carlisle, 11 5 is the draw. We're going to go with a Cheltenham victory here, 2 1 win. Carlisle look lost at the moment, and I don't see anything but relegation on their agenda. Meanwhile, Exeter City up against Cambridge, of course, uh, also coming at you this coming week, the, the weekend. Uh, Played each other 29 times, turn two, 17 wins for Exeter, 9 wins for Cambridge. We've got three draws, of course. Biggest win for the host here, 4 0 win. They've got 43 goals in 29 matches, 1.48 goals a game heading into this one. Cambridge, though, 50% form for them. We'll get to that in a minute. 4 0 win, the biggest 28 goals scored in 29 matches, 0.97 goals a game on average. Like I said, Cambridge on 50% form for them, winning three, losing three of the last six. They are 16th at the table with 30 points on the board. Up against the Exeter side, 20th in the table, uh, 26 points on the board right now. Uh, of course, 42% form for them heading into this game. Last time around, though, in Exeter, it was a 2 0 win back in February 2023. Uh, of course, the odds for this one, Exeter 13 to 10 for the victory, 12 to 5 for the draw, 2 to 1 is your away win. We are back in, of course, Exeter to get the W here. Cambridge taking the L in a bit of hot and cold form right now, winning one, losing one, winning one, losing one. And we'll see if uh, we can, uh, if that maintains here. Stevenage, though, up against Barnsley, a bit of a playoff crunch clash here. Played each other just the one time in 2023. We'll talk about that uh, now. Of course, that was a win for Barnsley. Uh, it was a 2 1 win. Of course, that was way back uh, in, in December 2023, of course. It was the reverse fixture this season. Good disgrace to me. Uh, Steven is though 42% form for them right now. Two wins in the last six. They are seventh with 46 points on the board. Up against the Barnsley side who are six. 75% form for them. However, without a loss in the last, at least the last six games. 46 points, uh, of course, heading into this one. The bookies odds for this one. Uh, six to five is your Steven. 12 to five is your Barnsley. They are underdogs. Uh, 11 to five is the draw here. Tight one to call here. Going to go with a 1-1 draw point apiece. Steven and Barnsley remaining the same, you would imagine, on that one. Fleetwood are in desperation. Up against high-flying Portsmouth who are on a bit of a wobble themselves. They play the 16 times since 2013. We've got three wins for Fleetwood, eight for Portsmouth, and five draws, of course. Fleetwood, though, 3 1 win the biggest, scoring 17 goals in 16 matches, 1.06 goals a game on average. Pompey, though, 5 2 win the biggest, scoring 26 goals in 16 matches, 1.63 goals a game heading into this one, though. Portsmouth under John Mussino, back to back defeats for them. Just one win in the last six, in fact, 33% form for them. They are top, though, 53 points on the board. But we the Fleetwood Town side now under Charlie Adam, 24 points, 24th in the table with 18 points on the board right now. Four defeats on the spin. They haven't won the last 12 matches. Matches. Last time around, though, over at Fleetwood, it was a 2-0 uh, win for Pompey back in January 2023. The reverse fixture back in, uh, actually not too long ago, was a 1-1 was a draw at Fratton Park. So Fleetwood are uh, familiar foes uh, to Portsmouth of recent time. Anyway, the odds on this one, we have 50-4 is your Fleetwood, 5-4 on is your Pompey, 5-2 is the draw. Going to go with Portsmouth on this one. I know their form is pretty shit at the moment, but they need wins like this to get the season back on track and maybe, just maybe, steer them back. To the championship, of course. Next up, we've got Leighton Orient up against uh, Bolton Wanderers, of course. Leighton Orient on the back of that big uh, morale boosting victory. Over Portsmouth at Fratton Park this past weekend. Playing uh, up against Bolton side who are still hot to bloody trot. Played each other three times to 2020. One win for Leighton Orient, two for Bolton and no draws. Biggest win, the only win for Leighton Orient was a 4-0 win. They got six goals scored though in those uh, three matches. Two goals a game on average. Bolton, though, 2 0 win the biggest score and five goals in those three games, 1.67 goals a game on average. Bolton, though, on 92% form for them right now, five wins in the last six. They are third, 51 points on the board. Up against the Orient side, just one defeat. 
the last six, 75% form for them heading into this one. Last time around, though, over at Brisbane Road, it was a four-day win, four late in back in October 2020. That was in League Two. The odds, though, for this one, we have Orient coming at you. Uh, 12 to 5 for the victory, 21 to 20 is your Bolton, 5 to 2 is the draw, of course. Bolton should fancy the chances, but I'm going to go with a bit of a surprise here. 2 1 win for the Orient down in London, down in Brisbane Road, uh, to maybe just give a Leighton Orient a season, a, a good old jolt, and maybe, just maybe, put them into the, in the discussion for the playoffs. We'll see if I'm right on that one. Lincoln City up against Derby, coming at you over at Sinson Bank. Now, these two sides have played each other six times, to done four, two wins to Lincoln, three for Derby, has been one draw, of course. Lincoln, though, 2 0 win the biggest score, eight goals in those six games, 1.33 goals a game on. On average, Derby, though, 3-1 win the biggest score. 10 goals in those six games. 1.67 goals a game heading into this one. Derby, though, 67% form for them right now. Winning four of the last six, of course. They are taking on Burton. Remember that on Monday. Fourth in the table, 49 points on the board. Up against the Lincoln side. Without a win in the last eight games, they are 12th. 33 points on the board. The new manager has not really done much in regards to saving or salvaging their season. Last time around, though, over at Lincoln, it was a 2-0 win for Lincoln back in September 2022. The odds, though, here, 10-3 is your Lincoln. 6-5 on is, of course, your Derby. And 5-2 is the draw here. Going to go with a 1-0 win for Derby on this one. I just don't think there's much in the tank at Lincoln at the moment. Uh, so 1-0 win for Derby. We'll see if I'm right on that one. Oxford United against Northampton Town coming at you at the Kazam. Now these two sides have played each other 27 times since 2003. 8 wins for Oxford. 16 wins for Northampton Town. 3 draws of course. Uh, the Oxford biggest win for them. 4-0 win. They've got 32 goals though in those 27 matches. 1.19 goals a game on average. Northampton Town 3-1 win. Their biggest scoring 32 goals also in those 27 matches. 1.19 goals a game. Of course the visitors 67% form for them right now. Just one defeat in the last six. They are ninth. 37 points on the board. Up against Oxford side. Three wins, three defeats in the last six. They are fifth. 49 points on the board. Of course, heading into this one. Last time around, though, over at the Kazam. It was a four-day win for Oxford back in December 2020. The reverse fixture just a couple of weeks ago was a 2-1 win for Northampton in Northampton, uh, of course. But the odds here is 10 7 on is your Oxford. 3-1 is your 7-2 is your away win here. Uh, I've got a 2-1 win for Oxford here, but I'm, I'm, as I look into this and read it a bit or, or, or think about it a bit more, uh, I've got a feeling that Northampton down might just nick something from this one might not win nick the victory but they might get a point uh, none the same on that one meanwhile Peterborough against Shrewsbury Peterborough within striking distance of that top spot and could be top depending on what goes on this weekend played each other 23 times against Shrewsbury uh, since 2005 12 wins to Posh 8 wins to Shrewsbury 3 draws of course biggest win for Posh 5-1 win they got 39 goals in 23 matches 1.70 goals a game on average Shrewsbury though 3-1 win the biggest score 32 goals in 23 matches 1.39 goals a game on average the Shrews 17% uh, form for them right now just one win in six, 17th uh, in the table with 30 points on the board. Up against Peterborough, 67% form for them right now. Just one defeat the past six. Uh, second in the table with 52 points on the board, of course. Last time around, though, in Peterborough, it was a 2 1 win for Peterborough back in March 2023. The posh, though, looking at odds here 11 to 4 on for the victory. Uh, very hot favourites. 15 to 4 is the draw. And we've got 8 to 1 is your Shrewsbury. It's going to be a 3 0 win for Peterborough, isn't it? That's to take the points. And of course, make a challenge for that top spot. We'll see. Uh, of course, meanwhile, Port Vale taking on Wickham Wanderers, of course, coming at you at Vale Park. Now, these two sides have played each other 15 times. Done two. Two in support. Vale, five for Wickham and eight draws, of course. The Vale, 4-1 win the biggest score 20 goals in 15 games. 1.33 goals a game on average. Wickham Wanderers, 3-0 win the biggest score 25 goals in 15 games. 1.67 goals a game on average. Wickham on a bit of form right now without a loss in the last five. 14 for the table with 30 points on the board. Up against the Port Vale side, just one win in six. 15 for the table, 30 points on the board as well. Last around, though, over at Port Vale was a 3-0 win for Wickham. In fact, the home side has not won this game since Port Vale beat Wickham back in October 2012. The odds though for this one, 7-5 is your Port Vale, 9-5 is your away win, and 12-5 is the draw. 2-1 win for me though. Surprise, surprise. Port Vale getting the W over Wickham who are in a good bit of form. And then wrap it up, wrap it up. It's a bit of a zing-zong affair over at the DW. It's Wickham. Uh, when I say Wickham, I mean Wigan. Wigan up against Reading at the DW. Played each other 23 times, turn 3. 8 wins for Wigan, 10 wins for Reading, 5 draws of course. Biggest win for Wigan, 3-0 uh, win. They got 29 goals in 23 matches, 1.26 goals a game. Reading also 3 0 win the biggest 29 goals scored in 23 matches, 1.26 goals a game on average. Reading, despite what all, all that shit that went on uh, with the protests, 58% form for them, just one defeat the last six. Uh, they are 21st in the table, 23 points on the board. On the board. Up against the Wigan side, 18th in the table, 28 points on the board, just one defeat the last four. However, just one win in six. Uh, the last time around at the DW, it was a 1 0 win for Reading back in September 2022. That was in the championship. The odds here 13 to 10 is your Wigan, 15 to 8 is your Reading. 5-2 is the draw. Don't know which way. Going to go with the 1-0 win, I think. Point to point, point percent in the bag for Wigan. Reading are in trouble. That's, of course, my situation, of course, for my pick Make sure you get your own pick in as well. And if I'm right, the table will look something along these lines. Uh, of course, don't read too much about the Wigan-ness. Uh, but we have Portsmouth at the top of the table with Peterborough up there in second spot. Derby, of course, uh, Oxford 
Bogton and then Barnes. You don't forget, uh, Derby will have an extra possibly three points on the agenda there. It could actually be in second spot with that game against Burton as well. Going down Fleetwood Carlisle, Cheltenham and Reading or something along those lines. Be sure to subscribe. Check the links down below, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, all that kind of jazz. We'll see you soon, guys, for the next one. But until then, we're done.